G'day everyone, Paul Stoner here, CEO of Biggin and Scott. I'm joined today by Simon Gray from our Maribyrnong office, who was one of our two yep. salespeople of the month for, of May. That's Congratulations, true. Simon. Thanks, Paul. Um, so, uh, for everybody watching, first of all, um, what's the Simon Gray story? A bit of background on yourself. Uh, story, my dad's been in real estate about 42 years, so I suppose I was always going to go into it and show, <laughs> showed me that a it can create a good lifestyle and you can have a lot of fun working pretty hard. So, yeah, that's a, one of those things. I, I got out of school, I got into real estate very young. Yep. Uh, at that stage, I was 17. That is young. It was. Didn't have a car, used to run to appointments. Yeah. I did that for about 10 months and found out that it was just, just too <laughs> hard. Um, so I took about six or seven years off, got out of it, and yeah, got back in. I've been in it probably about 14 years. And then I actually had two years off where I didn't work. Yep. I went up to the Gold Coast, Queensland. Um, That's where you go when you're not working. Byron Bay, I spent yep. two years up there, time out from the real estate industry, yep. and got back in at last August. Um, so you've been in Maribyrnong now since last August. Yep. You've been in that area, obviously, for quite yeah. a while now, or when you have been working, you've been Ask there. about Kensington, where I was based originally. Yeah. Um, so a little bit about you know how you like to work. Because um, for the guys watching, we, we understand everybody's different. It's yep. um, you know what works for you and how you get the best results. So, just tell us a bit about your structure, yeah, you know, on, on a daily or a weekly basis, monthly. Pro no, pro no, what? Getting too deep. Yeah, probably not a lot of structure in a lot of ways. Yeah. I tend to find a nice, relaxed way of doing business with people. People appreciate. Yeah. Um, not a lot of pressure. I like people to think about their decisions, give them a couple of days, maybe a week. Yeah. Even though everything's urgent urgent in real estate, people have got to be comfortable. Yeah. And I find that I achieve very good prices yeah. having people in their comfort zone. So if I'm a, a vendor of yours, what, what could I expect on a you know a weekly basis? Contact say, say it's um, an auction. I know yeah, everything's probably different. I probably speak to them three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. It really depends. I've actually had probably in the last two months about six overseas clients. Yeah. So I'd probably speak to them maybe once and a couple of emails a week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if I've got someone who I suppose needs a little bit more help and stressed out, I probably could speak to them every day. Yeah. So it really depends on which person it is. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about a busy period. May was a great month for Was you. a good month. Um, so let's just run through, you know, what, what it looked like for you during May. Yep. Yeah. Um, I had, I suppose, eight listings sold in May yep. and seven sales. And with that, there was a couple at auction that went very well. Yep. We, one in particular, we had a block of land that went on the market at 300, mm -hmm. uh, went for 355. That was a 207 square metre block with a permit for a townhouse. Jeez. And that was probably... Down a waterway somewhere. No, no, no. It was on Mitchell Street, Maidstone. Yeah, wow. Well, across the road yeah. from the industrial. So yeah. that was a fantastic result. Yeah. Um, but a lot of it is is hard work. I think real estate is a... It's not a job. Mm. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. you, either, you either love it or you shouldn't be in it. Yeah. And I've found and I've seen it, I suppose, over the years, Dad putting in longer hours than we have to these days yeah. before phones internet things like that yeah. but I just I just find when when you're on you have to be on mm -hmm. and you've got to be able to switch off and switch on pretty quick yeah so even going home if you're home 7 7 30 the phone rings at 9 30 bang you're in business mode yeah so there's not really time where you you step back and at least you know when it's business now they're calling the mobile they used to call correct. us on our home number yeah at home this is correct. That's you before all, my all time. All the but... had after hours numbers on them. They call you at home. Yeah, uh, it's changed a lot. So, so um, doing that many transactions during May uh, was the pressure on to communicate a lot with the vendors, or you found that everything had been set up well in the process leading um, up to that month. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. I actually probably had a, a better March when I look at it, mm. as far as numbers wise. Yeah. But may may come down to it that a lot fell into place, but in the last week I put three deals together, which a couple of them were pretty tough. Yeah, right. Uh, the goalposts were moved a couple of times once I got the result. Uh, spoke to the vendor, then they moved again. Yeah. And so there was a lot of hard work, but all in all, it, it's good fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I think when the phone's ringing and people want to deal with you, and I'm getting people ring the mobile direct now, 
yeah. and saying we're seeing what you're doing in the area mm. we want to deal with you yeah it's good so it makes it a lot easier than I suppose on the phone prospecting chasing all the time yeah when people are actually coming to you because they are happy with what you're doing yeah, yeah. and look it's a, it's a good point you make it's it's a lot of fun you, you, you really do have to enjoy it um, otherwise every day is a struggle yeah it I do. can wear you down yeah in five five minutes you're in there Definitely. for make a couple of calls and you're out yeah um, canvassing that's working for you you're saying now people are calling your mobile yes. so they're seeing results yep that's always a great motivator for people to call no doubt but what's gotten you to where you are now canvassing wise it's a tricky one because I don't canvass as much as I should your dad doesn't want to hear that no a lot of people don't want to hear that <laughs> but I suppose dad, dad's always got a, a theory and he's got it plastered in front of me is four is poor six is okay eight is great mm -hmm. and ten keep doing what you're doing yeah it's transactions and at the moment i um, most months I'm doing more than ten yeah so yeah. probably the happiest he's been with me in a long long time yeah, that's good and look uh, for those of you that watch the letters board Simon and Phil who you'll see uh, I'm interviewing next they're always in their top five they're always competing and consistency I mean that's the key in this yeah, business no doubt. don't fall off the cliff no you know, do it all, do, do all those transactions before you go on holidays and just yeah, yeah. Get, make it all work for you. Um, so, you know, when you came back into Maribyrnong, yep. what did you do to get your foot in the Maribyrnong door, market door? Uh, I think we're, we're in a really good office over there. Yeah. Uh, we do get a lot of people who do call because Biggin and Scott's a great brand in Maribyrnong. Yep. So that, that does help. But... I think it's every transaction that you leave a good taste in someone's mouth. Yeah. Whether it's a buyer or a seller, there's a big thing that's come in probably the last 18 months, rate my agent. Yeah. And it's something that you get testimonials from your, your buyers and your sellers. Yeah. So that's something that I've worked hard on. Yep. It's never had it in the past, mm -hmm. but now I can actually send an email to a prospective client saying, have a look at how we're going in Maidstone, Braybrook and Maribyrnong. Yeah. And then it comes up as myself as the most recommended agent yeah that kind of helps so yeah. you send that out you get them to see what other people have said about you yeah and very hard to beat in those yeah. areas a bit of social proof always yeah. helps yeah, yeah no doubt always helps um so how's june looking so far a uh, couple on the board probably i'd like a couple more at this stage of the month yeah, yeah. but by saying that i i still believe i'll probably sell five or six yeah. Okay. So, so, um, so June, obviously, uh, we've got school holidays towards the end of this yep. month. Uh, what, what's the motivation? Are people sort of moving towards spring, or they're just the the prices at the moment are motivating them enough? Uh, the pr the prices are. It's still, I suppose, a lot of owners are wanting top dollar and they're getting yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, homes are a gold at the moment, but yeah. I'd like a few more of those. Well, the West is alive and well it is uh, pumping we tend to get a lot of townhouses where they are selling but people want land and they go a lot better yeah cool now what comes with winning salesperson of the month did we uh we were there on i was spoiled on on tuesday morning and um uh simon chose the uh the uh, x70 i did uh, Infinity. And he's, he's driving the infinity x70 and um you'll see some photos pop up now how is it fantastic Fantastic, a lot bigger than the car that I, I do drive normally. I've got a, a, a Lexus sedan, yeah. but absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of bells and whistles. Yeah, there, there is, <laughs> there is, and I'm not very big on technology, but yeah, it's got me baffled how good they are. Yeah, so it's the diesel, the diesel one? That diesel, three litre diesel, yeah. and I only know that because it's written on the side of the door, Yeah, because I don't know too much about cars, but yeah, pleasure to drive and really appreciate it. Uh, Infinity and I suppose Big and Scott giving me the yeah, opportunity. Yeah, uh, look, a, a shout out to uh, Brighton Infinity. It's a it's a fantastic thing that they've done for the group. We all appreciate yep. it. Uh, but oh, geez, they are beautiful yeah, cars. Yeah, lovely. And um, I recommend you go and have a look at one. Um, mate, congratulations on a great month. No problem. Um, congratulations on being so consistent. Yep. It's always nice to get the number one instead of two, three, or yeah, four. Yeah, I know. And um, it ran like that for about four months, so it was yeah, nice to get it. Yeah, and um, we hope to see you back. You never know, June might fall into place, and yep. then July, and um, you'll be back. I'll be pushing. You'll be driving that infinity forever. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you. everyone. Cheers.
a global movement for self-expression has arrived. The uncompromised Infinity QX70. Make your statement. Search Infinity Cars.